Welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Ben Hanawell in for Mila Richardson. And today I'm going to talk about some new findings at the ADP Research Institute's data lab that use ADP data to show how HR staffing relates to recent trends in the labor market and also how HR staffing might be related to employee retention. So we've got three trends. Let's break it down. Trend number one, HR staffing is on the rise. Since 2018, we've seen HR staffing rise by over 10%. And most of that growth has happened since 2020, as we were coming out of the pandemic and job openings and hires and quits were accelerating at, at breakneck speed. And so no wonder a lot of employers were beefing up their HR staffing. And that brings me to trend number two. A lot of the growth that we've seen in HR staffing is actually growth in recruiting. So since 2018, we've seen the growth in the share of all HR job holders who are recruiters be over 26%. But on an annual basis, that growth actually peaked back in 2022, last year, at 11%. And then that same year, the job openings rate in the United States also peaked at 7.4%. But then what happened? Well, so far in 2023, the growth in the share of all HR job holders who are recruiters has fallen to less than 1%. And at the same time, hiring and quits and job openings have also started to fall. And all of this is a sign of a cooling but still strong labor market. And as Neela Richardson put it here some weeks ago, if the year 2022 was the year of the great resignation, the big quit, by comparison, the year 2023, at least so far, looks more like a big stay. And that actually brings me to trend number three, which is about turnover and quits. When we look at companies' turnover rates, we see the highest turnover for those companies with the lowest HR staffing ratios. And then companies with mid-range staffing ratios have lower turnover rates. But then the companies with the highest HR staffing ratios see turnover start to creep up again. And this is telling us that there might be a sweet spot for HR staffing when it comes to employee retention. To see more of our interactive data stories, I recommend that you go to adpri.org's data lab. Thank you.